At the moment where I live in the UK, um, and as I record this, we are in the middle of a census. And a census requires every person across um, the, the, the entire region to give information about themselves to their government. Things like um, your job or your religious denomination. I just completed a couple of weeks ago myself. It's information that helps inform government policy and ideally means that the public gets served better. In China, however, a census had a very different effect. It caused a significant increase in persecution against Christians. You see, a number of years ago, the ruling Chinese Communist Party, or the CCP, had a shock when results of a nationwide census came in and they discovered that the number of Christians in China matched the number of people who were members of the Communist Party. With many Christians living underground and unregistered and so wouldn't have appeared on the census, it is a certainty that believers in China actually outnumber card-carrying communists. This is a serious shock to the system. The last few years have seen a major escalation in measures against Christians as the Chinese Communist Party seek to preserve communist values over this increasing Christian belief. No tactic is too underhand to achieve their goals. Churches are regularly raided and closed down. Pastors and believers disappear off the streets with no record of what has happened to them. Efforts are made to suppress the distribution of God's word. A plan was even put in place to emphasize the commercial nature of Christmas so that, like the West, the main figure of the season become, would become Santa Claus as opposed to Jesus Christ. In other parts of the country, um, money was offered uh, payments would be made to believers who would take down uh, where the pictures and images of verses and biblical scenes and if they replaced them with images of the Chinese president, they, they would get money. And underground agents attend church, state church services to ensure that all preaching aligns with communist values. It's heartbreaking to think of what our, our family, our brothers and sisters in China face. But despite it all, we praise God for sustaining his people in China because, well, estimates regarding the number of believers vary, but some suppose there could be nearly 100 million Christians within the nation's borders. The CCP sees them as a threat, but the church continues to proclaim the good news and they continue to urge the people of China to consider who their master should be, communism or Christ, and God is growing his church in this part of the world through the sharing of his gospel. Two things to pray for. Pray for Christians in China to remain committed to the work of the kingdom in China in the face of persecution. And secondly, pray that the Lord would work against the plans of the Chinese authorities so that religious freedom might become widespread in China.